Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Paints and Brushes with me. And now we will going to do another set of neoclassical architecture painting from the reference, it is from Pexels. To begin with, you're gonna need all of your painting materials, your watercolor, watercolor palette, watercolor brush, and also the drawings. With this painting, I'll start with the sky or the background and your foreground will going to be adjusted also later. And because it is watercolor painting, different from acrylics or Because we are using watercolor, we will going to begin with the lightest color and then we will going to proceed to the darkest one such as your shades and your shadows. Observing a reference, you'll see that it uses the different shades of brown or yellow ochre. Because of this, we will going to use the lightest brown as the first layer. And then we will going to put up another layer on the part that it needs to be darkened. Step by step or the process I think varies depending on the reference that you are using. You can start with the foreground. Sometimes you have to start with the background. Yet with this painting we will start off with layering and then we will move on to the detailing part. I typically start off from left to right or right to left and from bottom to top and contrast plays a major role as it will going to add depth on your painting and the dimensions that you wanted to achieve with the color scheme you have your lightest one and then you proceed with the shade, um, it comes with uh, more darker colors and the shadow, um, it comes with the darkest color that you can have in your color scheme. Zooming in as you can see with your reference, the walls are in different levels and you can use that to add more depth and more dimensions to your painting as you zoom out. Tiny details are also reflected on your painting so that it will give it more character and more identity into it. You can put details on your columns, walls, pediments. Also with detailing our cornice, we will use different shades of brown to be able to see the dimensions or the depth of the painting. And the first structure with it we do some browns, variations, and values of browns. Now we will going to do some variations and values of gray color so that it will going to achieve a monochromatic look. Lastly, we are going to add some details that we need on our painting. Um, we will do some window detailing at the end part of our painting and also add some shades and shadow onto it to add more depth. And now we're done! You can comment down below all of your suggestions, comments, and also your requests. And 
lastly, you'll have to put up your signature. Yep, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Thank you.